Ebola was discovered in the 1970s, so we were wondering why is there no vaccine? Juliana Goldman's been looking into this. The National Institutes of Health began working on an Ebola vaccine after 9-11, when bioweapons were a big concern. But getting from test tubes to humans is expensive and complicated, especially for an exotic disease that until now was popping up in small numbers and contained to another continent. Why don't we have an Ebola vaccine now? Up until the outbreak of Ebola in West Africa, it was not a very high priority. Dr. Myron Levine is an infectious disease specialist at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. He's been working on vaccines, including one for Ebola, for 44 years. With limited resources to test vaccines, et cetera, one always has to pick and choose what are the highest priorities. And when stacked against everyday threats like cancer and the flu, there wasn't a financial incentive for pharmaceutical companies to put money into Ebola research. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the head of infectious diseases at NIH. You have a company that says, let's see, maybe I can make a pill that everybody takes every day, whatever it is, a lipid lowering agent, another kind of Viagra, what have you. They put a lot of money in to get that product. That wasn't the case with Ebola. So the bulk of the research was left to government funding. Earlier this week, NIH Director Francis Collins said, we'd likely have a vaccine already, if not for a decade of budget cuts. Since 2003, the NIH budget has roughly stayed the same, around $29 billion, but it has not kept pace with inflation. So in real dollars, it's actually decreased 21 percent. There are constraints on resources, and when you have constraints on resources, you can't pull in your optimal effort. One potential vaccine was developed here at NIH with the pharmaceutical company GlaxoSmithKline. Human trials began last month. But Scott, even if they're successful, the head of research at the company says a vaccine wouldn't be ready until 2016. Juliana, thanks very much.